Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to not get attacked by Karma, a tool used on the Wi-Fi Pineapple 4. Um, there's not one thing that you can look up and say, hey, I'm being attacked. It's a couple of things that you need to look at, but uh, we'll go through that list. First of all, how Karma works is it responds to probe requests. Basically what that means is every time you open up your laptop, your laptop will say, hey, is my such and such wireless network around? And the the tool will respond to that and say yes I'm such and such network let's get you online so that's how basically it works first of all what you need to do to protect yourself from this kinds of attacks is please turn off auto connect in your wireless connections so find your wireless home router or whatever you connect to any of them and go to properties and go to connection and uncheck this box automatically connect when this network is in range I know it's a pain every time you want to use your computer or get online or you get disconnected you have to connect manually but every time you want more convenience you give up security so that's one way to look at it if you want more security you have to give up convenience second of all is how far away are you from the router if your home network is at home and let's say you're in an airport 30 miles away I mean it's just common sense most likely your network is not able to reach that far so it is not your home wireless network you're too far away and the last thing to look at is for a MAC address now this isn't foolproof uh, an attacker could spoof your um, wireless home router MAC address if they wanted to be that malicious but to look at it your MAC address usually there will be a sticker on your router or whatever that will list its MAC address a MAC address is just a media access control address that's just a unique identifier that is assigned to every network interface in the world so your wireless card your router everything has a unique number so you can look that up by going to the command prompt and running ARP TAC A and you're gonna look for your IP address your routers IP address not your computers um, yours might be different 192.168.1.1 or 10.0.0.1 but mine is 10.1.9.1 and you can see the physical address is this. So you'd want to remember that, write that down, and compare it to, let's say, another network you're, the network you're connecting to. Like, let's say you're connecting to your home router, home wireless network, and if it doesn't match up the physical address, I would be worried and I would not connect to it and make sure that it is you're connecting to your home router. Second of all, well, fourth of all, you might see um, your home network duplicated so here's Tyler's home and you'll see it again here which is the pineapple now remember it's responding to probe requests so anything going out it will respond to because your home router is sending out um, beacons or whatever and it's picking it up I believe it's called your computer but anyways you might see a duplicate <laughs> so if you see all the above or most of it, you're probably being attacked or karma is running and I would be very careful on what network you're connecting to. And for a test, let's try, um, let's go to that network, your home network. So we'll connect to it. This is the pineapple. So I'll wait for it to connect. Okay, we got full internet access. I've got some uh, internet connection sharing running. And if we run that same command again, you will see the IP address has changed and the physical address, the MAC address, is totally different than what your home router is. So there you go. That's how to not get attacked by Karma, which is, um, they call Yazagon, the pineapple, I believe, an implementation of Karma. But if you like this video, please rate, subscribe, and have fun. I'll see you later.